Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from danstube.tv and you can expect brutally honest tech reviews on the channel and in today's episode I'm checking out the Mavic Air 2 tracking modes and the newly released target scanning which is a really exciting new feature from DJI that we haven't seen before, it's exclusive to the Mavic Air 2 and another thing that's unique and exclusive to the Mavic Air 2 is this new way of interacting with the tracking modes. So now instead of going into your menu and choosing something, you just draw a box around a subject. It's as simple as that and it will automatically engage in the tracking modes. Now I have had a few little issues here and there with it struggling to pick up on subjects that are a little too small maybe, whether that's someone in a kayak or someone riding a bike but they're too far away from the camera itself. They're the only issues I've had so far. But once you've engaged in the tracking modes it will automatically select the spotlight feature and this just basically keeps the subject as the spotlight, as the main focus. So you can move around that subject, you can move forward, back, decrease and increase your altitude whatever you want to do and it will keep the focus on that subject. The next tracking mode that we're going to have a look at is the POI or the point of interest and this is probably one of my favorite tracking modes as it just gives a really dynamic viewpoint where you actually have control over how the drone is going to circle a particular subject and it was really cool to see in this example that it actually didn't recognize where I was. It lost me and it still focused on a point that was roughly where I was and then when it started recognizing it was me again it then focused back on me. The footage was definitely a little bit jerky when it it picked up on me again because it obviously tried to pull a bit further back because I was too close to it but overall I was impressed that it had a lot of spatial recognition it knew how far that subject was away from the drone well enough to place a point that was accurate and could continue working from there on out so there's a lot of awareness in this drone it's ridiculous how it can pick up on a point even though I'm not there but it recognizes the distance between that point now going back into the spotlight mode I just wanted to kind of show you guys how it actually interacts with the subject so you can see that I'll move a bit further back and it will just kind of tilt the camera up, the drone won't actually move. Now alternatively when I put it into the active track mode that is a different story altogether. So that will actually track you there. And you have two different modes, you've got trace and parallel. So when you jump into trace, it's basically just going to track you. It's going to follow the movement of the subject. So in my example here, you'll see that as I move away from the drone, it will keep me in the center of the shot, but the drone will start moving towards me. And then when I move back towards the drone, the drone will get pushed back to keep me in the middle of the frame and to continue with the movement of the subject. So this is probably one of the more more powerful modes and then if you go into the parallel mode then you get more of a side profile shot so this just gives a unique perspective if you're trying to track a boat a car or some other subject it gives a unique look that you wouldn't get from the normal tracing mode now we're gonna have a look at the target scanning which is a brand new feature to the Mavic Air 2 and it's really simple to enable you just go into your menu go across to control and then enable target scanning and now you'll notice that there'll be a plus icon over me so it's recognized that I'm a subject that can be tracked. It'll also do the same thing for boats, cars, and other subjects out and about in the environment. And the thing that's really cool as well is it recognizes the difference between a boat, a car, and a human being. So as you can see, I can go across to a boat now and it recognizes that it's a boat and I can still track that boat with all of the features that I just showed you, but it's so much easier than trying to draw a box around something. Because as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I occasionally have issues with that and it can sometimes be a little bit tentative, but having that plus pop-up is so much easier. You just tap on it and it's ready to go. One thing to be mindful of though is that sometimes you need to fly a little bit closer to the subject so that the camera or the algorithm can actually recognize what that particular subject is. Anyway beautiful internet family that's the end of another Mavic Air 2 video. If you are new to the channel then please consider subscribing and tickling that notification bell so you are notified on my weekly uploads. If you do have any other questions about the Mavic Air 2, then let me know in the comments below, and I can definitely test them out in the coming weeks. But that's it. Make sure to have a fantastic day, and peace out.